and welcome back to Retro Coffee Shop Table 10 help video. This is chapter 3, editing the file in Adobe InDesign. Uh, in this chapter we'll talk about uh, basic edits, editing the colors and editing the text in InDesign. My name is Maria, I'm a graphic designer and I'll be your guide throughout this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's open up our InDesign file and I'll just drag the template directly to the work area so I can open it up. Uh, once you have uh, your file open, uh, in the swatches panel you'll see uh, these five different color swatches. If you're not sure which color, uh, which of these colors belong to your template, simply click on it and it will automatically show up here. Now, uh, in order to change colors, just double click on it, make sure the preview button is checked, uh, either type in your own color values if you know them, or simply play with the color and get the color you like. And we're just going to do this again, and voila, we have our uh, color scheme changed. So. Once we've done that, uh, we can now concentrate on editing the text. Um, when it comes to InDesign, I strongly recommend you work with InDesign when it comes to menus, um, when it comes to anything that has, uh, that needs a strictly formatted text, especially if you have two different formats, like for instance in this case, our titles and our descriptions um, are different colors, uh, different fonts, different sizes. So instead of just uh, going through each and every one of these individually, what I've done is to create uh, the paragraph styles that are going to do the job for you. Now, let me show you in an example. Let me just for instance, copy this. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to open a new text file. This is usually how you will get your menus created. Uh, there is one little trick. Once you get your uh, elements for your menu, text for the menu, make sure you format it in your text document or word processor of any kind in the following way. You create, uh, you type in your title, then press tab, not space, tab, type in your uh, price, enter, type in your description. Now make sure this description is right next to this so you don't do this. Okay? And finally, enter and then repeat the process. Title, tab, price, enter, description, enter. Title, tab, price, enter, description, enter. And this is how you format your style. So, let me just go simply copy this and you'll see in a second why uh, this is much faster. So let's say you have this basic paragraph. Once I copy everything, it really doesn't look really good. Now, if I just go, I could go and convert every single title into dream title. Then I have to go through all the descriptions and select drink description, drink description. Okay, we have description here and so on and so on. Now this can get tedious. Uh, this is a small uh, a table top menu, uh, so it has only a few elements. But if you're doing this on a big scale, if you have the entire menu to go through, this can be really, really tedious. So what I've done is create something um, that is uh, I'm going to merge these two. What you do is select your text frame, remember, format it properly. And now I'm going to right click on a drink title because that's the first style that I have in this. And instead of selecting apply drink title, I'm going to select apply drink title, then next style. 
And what it does is create this wonderful menu. Now, of course, I can go into drink title and this is how you create it. You create the styles for the title and you create the styles for description. And the only thing you do is in the general, here in the next style, you say, okay, this is the drink title, next style is drink description. You select OK, go to drink description and do the same thing. So this is the drink description, next style is drink title. And this is how you create it. Now, of course, if you double click on the style, you can edit basic character formats, which means you can create a change font, you can change font style, sizes, kerning, all that wonderful stuff. You have advanced character formats, you have a bunch of stuff to play with here and you can try them on and see which ones uh, work best. If you change something, let's say we're going to change font. Uh, once I've changed it, all the everywhere where this style was used is going to change automatically. So you don't have to worry about changing all these elements manually and waste a lot of time. One more thing when it comes to editing <coughs> uh, text, you have to remember that InDesign um, reads these texts as text frames, not text itself. So let's say you want to change the color of this text. If you just simply select the text frame and select the color, it's going to color the background, the frame itself. The text is going to stay the same. How do you change the color of the text? Well, it's simple. It's either double clicking, selecting the text and then changing the color, or let's say you want to change more uh, text frames than one. Uh, right here, where you have fill and stroke, uh, right beneath it is something is called this little T, formatting effects text. You click this and you see how the fill color is now changed. It has a little letter T here and letter T here, which tells you now you can change the color of the text. Now if you select any color, this is a bad choice, it will change the color. Okay, so that's it. Uh, after we've finished everything, we need to select all the text. Well, first of all, we finished editing. This is our final version. First and foremost, save it as the final version. So you know this is the final version. This is what I'm sending to be printed. Now, before you send this to the printer, select text, go to type, create outlines, and voila! We have the text selected, created the outlines with it, and now we're going to save this as final for print. Or you can name it anywhere you want, just to make sure <coughs> you need to know that this is the version that cannot be edited anymore when it comes to the text. You save it, you send it to your printer, and you're done. Uh, that was it when it comes to chapter 3, editing the file in Adobe InDesign. Uh, the last chapter uh, is editing the file in Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you have any issues, questions, you need to know a little bit more about this template, please don't hesitate to send me an email and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this chapter and see you in the next one. Bye!